Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of the Microsoft AZ900 exam. I am your host Neetu Rai from UpDegree. And let's get started. Question 16. A company is planning to set up a series of Azure SQL databases. If the databases have unpredictable uses, which of the following features can reduce the overall cost? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Reservation Option B. Elastic Pools Option C. Single Databases Option D. Clustered Databases And the correct answer is Option B. Elastic Pools Explanation you can use elastic pools to make more efficient use of the cost when having databases with unpredictable users' demands. Azure SQL database elastic pools are a simple and cost-effective solution for managing and scaling multiple databases that have varying and unpredictable users' demands. The databases in an elastic pool are on a single server and share a set number of resources at a set price. Elastic pools in Azure SQL database enable SaaS developers to optimize the price performance for a group of databases within a prescribed budget while delivering performance elasticity for each database. Question 17. Your company is planning to create a Cosmos DB account. Which of the following is used to measure the cost of Cosmos DB? Select two options. Now the options are. Option A. Storage. Option B. Number of clusters. Option C. Number of nodes. Option D. Throughput. And the correct answer is Option A and D. Storage and throughput. Explanation. You will be charged on the basis of the amount of throughput you assign for the Cosmos DB account and also the storage. Question 18. What two advantages does cloud computing elasticity give to you? Pick two options. Now, the options are Option A. You can serve users better during peak traffic periods by automatically adding more capacity. Option B. Servers have become a commodity and Microsoft doesn't even need to even fix servers that fail within Azure. Option C. You can save money. Option D. You can do more regular backups and you won't lose as much when that backup gets restored. And the correct answer is option A. You can serve users better during peak traffic periods by automatically adding more capacity. And option C. You can save money. Explanation. Elasticity saves you money during slow periods and also allows you to handle the highest peak of traffic. Question 19. Your company is planning on creating several policies in the Azure Policy Service. These policies are all meant to achieve a particular goal. Which of the following could be used to organize these policies into one group? Now, the options are Option A. Management Groups Option B. Initiative Definition Option C. Resource Groups Option D. Subscriptions And the correct answer is option B. Initiative definition. Explanation. Initiatives enable you to group several related policy definitions to simplify assignments and management because you work with a group as a single item. For example, you can group related tagging policy definitions into a single initiative. Rather than assigning each policy individually, you apply the initiative. Question 20. What are the groups of subscriptions called? Now, the options are Option A. Management Groups Option B. Azure Policy Option C. Subscription Groups Option D. ARM Groups And the correct answer is Option A. Management Groups Explanation Subscriptions can be nested and placed into management groups to make managing them easier. Question 21. A company is planning to implement an Azure DDoS protection standard plan. The company has multiple subscriptions. 
the total number of resources across subscriptions is more than 100 which of the following statement is correct based on the given requirements now the options are option a ddos protection standard plan does not meet the first requirement option b ddos protection standard plan does not meet the second requirement option c ddos protection standard plan meets both the requirements and the correct answer is option b ddos protection standard plan does not meet the second requirement explanation ddos protection standard plan cannot support more than 100 resources since the requirement needs to support more than 100 resources option b is an accurate statement option a is incorrect because ddos protection standard plan can be used across multiple subscriptions option c is incorrect ddos protection standard plan cannot support the second requirement it can support only up to 100 resources question 22 if you wanted to get an alert every time a new virtual machine is created where could you create that now the options are option a azure dashboard option b azure policy option c subscription settings option d azure monitor and the correct answer is option d azure monitor explanation the best place to track events at the resource level is azure monitor question 23 your company has implemented azure information protection however a newly joined user is unable to access it which two of the following roles would give the user access to azure information protection select two options now the options are option a information protection administrator option b cloud application administrator option c group administrator option d security administrator and the correct answer is option a information protection administrator and option d security administrator explanation in azure active directory if another administrator or non-administrator needs to manage azure ad resources you assign them an azure ad role that provides the permissions they need option a is correct information protection administrator role can create and manage all aspects of app registrations option d is correct security administrator can manage all aspects of the cloud app security product option b is incorrect because cloud application administrator is part of application administrators option c is incorrect because group administrator has access to administrative features question 24 fill in the blanks dash is the strategy of layering multiple security defenses on top of each other to provide a stronger protection than any single defensive mechanism alone now the options are option a defense in depth option b azure firewall option c network access control option d azure ad conditional access and the correct answer is option a defense in depth explanation a common cyber security approach used by organizations to protect their digital assets is to leverage a defense in depth strategy the sans institute defines defense in depth as protecting a computer network with a series of defensive mechanisms such that if one mechanism fails, another will already be in place to thwart an attack. Question 25. A company wants to implement a security solution for the users who are on on-premises Active Directory and has the following requirements. Monitor user login or logout. Monitor Active Directory user account changes. Monitor machine account. Which is the best resource option to satisfy this requirement? Now, the options are Option A, Azure AD Password Protection Option B, Azure AD Identity Protection Option C, Azure AD Privileged Identity Management Option D, Microsoft Defender for Identity And the correct answer is Option D, Microsoft Defender for Identity Explanation 
Microsoft Defender for Identity is a cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-premises Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities, and malicious insider actions directed at your organization. Defender for Identity enables SecOp analysts and security professionals struggling to detect advanced attacks in hybrid environments too. Monitor users, entity behavior, and activities with learning based analytics protect user identities and credentials stored in Active Directory Identify and investigate suspicious user activities. And advanced attacks throughout the kill chain provide clear incident information on a simple timeline for fast triage. Option A is incorrect. Azure AD password protection only provides password protection features. Option B is incorrect. Azure AD identity protection is used only for identity protections. Option C is incorrect. Azure AD privileged identity management is used only for important resources protection. Question 26. Which feature of Azure AD allows you to restrict access to a resource based on the geographical location of the user? Now, the options are Option A. Directory roles Option B. Privileged Identity Management Option C. Role-Based Access Control Option D. Conditional Access And the correct answer is Option D. Conditional Access Explanation Conditional Access allows administrators to create rules around who is and is not allowed access to a resource based on number of available signals. Question 27 you are planning to implement Azure multi-factor authentication. Which of the following is the recommended policy? Now, the options are Option A. Enable per user Option B. Enable per session Option C. Enable conditional access Option D. Enable security defaults And the correct answer is Option C. Enable conditional access Explanation to secure user sign-in, events in Azure AD, you can require multi-factor authentication. Enabling Azure AD multi-factor authentication using conditional access policies is the recommended approach to protect users. Conditional access is an Azure AD Premium P1 or P2 feature that lets you apply rules to require MFA as needed in certain scenarios. Option A is incorrect as it is not advised per user. Also, it would be time-consuming and difficult to maintain for a large number of users. Option B is incorrect, because the session is per user login and policy is not applied to a user session. Option D is incorrect, because it is applicable for a free tier by default. Question 28. Deploying Azure App Services applications consists of what two components? Pick two options. Now, the options are Option A. Managing operating system updates Option B. Configuration Option C. Packaged code Option D. Database scripts And the correct answer is Option B. Configuration And Option C. Packaged code Explanation Azure App Services Platform as a Service Consist of code and configuration. Question 29. You are planning to purchase an Azure support plan. Which of the following is the most cost-effective plan that has the following embedded into the plan? Access to the full set of Azure Advisor recommendations. Business hours access to support engineers via email. Now, the options are Option A. Basic Option B, Developer Option C, Standard Option D, Professional Direct And the correct answer is Option B, Developer Explanation The developer plan is the most cost-effective to satisfy these requirements. Question 30 Select Yes or No for the following statement. With Azure Free Account, you can access the Azure Knowledge Center. Now, the options are Option A, Yes Option B, No 
and the correct answer is option a yes explanation yes azure knowledge center is free to everyone thank you for watching this video please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel buy our az 900 premium questions with 50% off check link in the description